part three, I think we'll take the opportunity to give you my opinion of a little wire welder, a Harbor Freight welder that I bought for next to nothing. If you want to do some welding, try one of these little welders. Good day viewers, Walter here. I'm going to do a bit of welding. I cleaned all the slag off my welding where I welded in here. I thought I'd give you a chance to look over my shoulder a little bit. We're going to try an experiment anyway. Let you watch me re-weld this thing. i got a little hairline crack right here. And it looks kind of like bubble gum. I think we can pretty it up a little bit. It's pretty strong the way I got it welded though. Another little hairline crack that right there. We're pushing my little cheap old Harbor Freight welder to its maximum anyway. But I thought I'd try to use this camera here to let you look over my shoulder. And you can look through this cheap old Harbor Freight welding helmet. We're gonna hook it on like something another zoom in on the camera and I'm getting a glare off of that lens from the sky so we're going to put a towel or something over here to keep from interfering the light from messing up the camera and hopefully we'll be able to see through that welding lens on there. First I got to tape this hood on there with a piece of duct tape. That's pretty much the center. Now let's get the hood lined up. A little crooked. Let's raise her up. I hope I'm still pointed at the welding project. Let's see how it comes out. I don't know, but what that ain't gonna work like a champ. We'll get everything set up and then I'll turn the camera on. Now, I'm not the steadiest person in the world when it comes to welding something, but you don't look for no real pretty weld, but look to see how it's done anyway. Can't find my chipping hammer, so I'm using that bar. This little cheap old chipping hammer wouldn't chip not off a turtle's nose. Action! Welding scene, take one. Anytime you're welding, if you can lay a flat bead, it's going to look better than... don't mean mine's going to look good, I'm not saying that by no means. But it's going to look better and probably be stronger than vertical or overhead welding. Here we go. Well, then this thing was moving around. It ain't near tight enough. Let's line the camera up again. That's definitely tighter. Now let's see if the camera's still lined up.
I was intentionally trying to make that a big bead, but I see I made it too big. I'm going to grind her down some. I'm going to take a chance that the camera is still pointed the right way. I can always refilm it, but I'm getting tired of trying. Thing for sure that well is burning in there it ain't going steady as I wanted it to finish this bead right here and then grind her down heavy bunch of welding on here. We're going to grind it down now and see what that looks like. I welded too far here. The only excuse I got for the way it looks is I just realized I wasn't wearing my glasses. When we weld over here, I'm going to put my glasses on, see if maybe I can't see a little better. But let's grind her down. First I got to change the wheel on the grinder. Still got a sanding disc on it. Great bit of trouble getting my camp, uh, welding helmet taped exactly the way I want it. And I still ain't sure I got it the way I want it. But the wind keeps blowing and messing me up. I don't exactly want to tape it on there permanent. My duct tape is uh, holding it up in there right now. Let's start recording and try another welding clip. Action, take two. <clears throat> Turn on the welder. Get my helmet. As a matter of fact, I think we'll sit down to weld this. If I can reach it. beads on there that ought to be dim dandy the first one I don't think the camera was running so I chipped it off and did another bead right beside it.
almost started without my safety glasses on. can't leave that sticking up because it might rub the side of my wheel. But I sure burned it in pretty deep, I think. Anytime you charge them for a weld, you charge by the inch. Might as well give them their money's worth. Turn the switch off before you plug it in, Walter. Not gonna grind all my weld off of there. Hopefully that now I don't know I'm gonna do it. Right now. Well, I grinded the higher parts of the weld on the outside down, but I didn't grind it all down. Turned the metal purple there, that thing was getting pretty hot. Tried to burn in a good sized bead. Actually, it's still kind of warm. Inside here, I put a, I haven't chipped off the slag yet. I tried to put a good sized bead in here. Got one more spot to weld over here. Where's my chipper? Where'd it fall? Wish I had a dollar for every time I've chipped with a cold chisel or a hunk of iron. Never find your chipper hammer when you want it. We could shine it up with a wire brush, but I don't care what it looks like. I 
Well, I melted it in real good. It breaks and won't be because I didn't try to weld it good. Getting almost time to go in for supper. I want to at least finish welding this. I was hoping to get the tongue welded today, but I don't think I will. I appreciate you tuning in to my video today. I'm going to go ahead and weld this spot right here and call it today. The Harbor Freight El Cheapo welder impresses me greatly. It does pretty doggone good. I bought this whole contraption for about $89. Sure won't buy no American made welder for that. Better get ready to cough up about $500. I believe it's going to hold, folks. 